Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Casey, and I'm the designer behind the indie sewing pattern company, Pattern Scout. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing a kind of quick tutorial. It's quick for me anyway. I get a little granular on the details sometimes, but a quick-ish tutorial for how to sew the tower placket on the sleeve of the birdie button-up shirt. In the original birdie button-up sew along, I showed you how to finish the placket with a lapped placket. So it was just a piece of binding that went around the placket opening, and it was a little bit simpler than the tower placket method. But today I'm gonna to show you the tower placket, and the tower placket is the method that I show in the original birdie button-up instructions. The tower placket method is a little bit more complicated. It's really just a few more steps. It's not necessarily super, super complicated, but it can be a little confusing and frustrating if you've never done one before. If you'd like to see a full sew along for the birdie button-up shirt, I definitely recommend you check out that other video. I will put a link somewhere up here. <laughs> and I've also got a full sew along on the Pattern Scout blog, which I'll also link to below. I'll be attaching the plackets to the sleeves before I attach the sleeves to the bodice. So I've got my two sleeve pieces cut mirrored and I'm laying them both with the wrong side of fabric facing up. I've also interfaced both of the placket pattern pieces and drawn a line for the placket opening. At the bottom of each of the sleeves there is a notch and that is where I'm going to align that line for the placket opening at the bottom of the sleeve. And I've got the plackets with the right side facing down so the right side of the placket is facing the wrong side of the sleeve. And the short side of the placket faces the back of the sleeve. I'll sew around that placket opening line with a quarter inch seam allowance. The placket opening stops about a quarter inch from the corner at the top of the placket there. I'm just gonna go to that point about a quarter inch away from the top, pivot and turn and pivot and turn again and come down the other side of the placket. Now I'm over at the ironing board and I'm just going to press about an eighth inch fold in each side of the placket. Next, I'm going to cut along the line that I drew for the placket opening up to about a quarter inch away from the top and then pivot and cut diagonally toward the corners there, making sure to cut right up to the stitching at the corner, but not through it. Then I'll turn the sleeve over so that the right side is facing up and I'm going to pull the placket through that opening to the right side of the sleeve. So now the wrong side of the placket will be to the right side of the sleeve and I'm going to press that placket flat around that window that we created by stitching around the placket opening. Starting with the shorter side of the placket, I'm going to fold that flap back over the placket opening and then I'll fold that in half so that the folded edge is now aligned with the stitching of the placket opening. If your fold doesn't really wanna stay, you can use a tailor's clapper to help set that pressed fold in place, but this is totally optional. Once that's pressed, I'm going to edge stitch that fold in place to secure the placket leg. I'll do the same thing for the other side of the placket, making sure that that folded edge is right on top of the seam for the placket opening. Before I stitch that fold in place, I'm gonna finish the top of the placket tower. So I'm unfolding that where I just pressed it and folding it in the wrong direction along the same fold line. I'm gonna pin that in place right at the top there. Then I'm going to stitch across the top about a half inch away from the top of the placket opening. And you can see I've done that here. And I just wanna trim the top of that off and then trim that little corner to reduce the bulk. And here's how that looks up close. And I've maintained that little fold that I pressed earlier. So I'm going to flip this right side out and poke out that corner. You may need to use a poking tool, not scissors. <laughs> and then that's going to fold back over the placket opening. But first I just need to press that little fold at the very top there just to keep that nice and neat. Then I can fold that over and that will conceal all of the raw edges of the placket. I'm gonna press that, take my time to press that nice and flat and make sure that all the little corners are poked out here. And you can see how that's starting to operate as a placket. And that's how it looks from the inside. Now I just wanna pin the top of the placket in place, making sure that I'm locating the top of the placket on the inside and I will sew around the placket on the sewing machine. I'm just going up the side of the placket leg to secure it in place all the way to the top of the placket. And I may have to kind of poke some things in 
as I go along to make sure that all the raw edges are concealed. And I'm making sure that I'm not sewing this shut, I'm just sewing along the side. Go all the way to the top. I'm gonna pivot and turn around the top of the placket. And I like to back stitch here and then pivot and turn and go down to where that placket opening is, making sure everything's nicely tucked in. And then I'll pivot and turn again back to the side of the placket. So now I've sewn the top of the placket in place and the side is concealed. And you can see my stitching there right at the top of the placket on the interior. Now that the placket is complete, you can finish construction of your shirt, adding the sleeve to the bodice and sewing the sleeve side seam. Once that's done, we will attach the cuff to the sleeve. I've folded the cuff in half lengthwise, wrong sides together, and I've interfaced one half of that cuff. Then I'll press a 5 8 inch fold on the interface side of the cuff toward the wrong side of fabric. Next, I'll attach the sleeve cuff to the sleeve and I'm attaching the uninterfaced side to the sleeve, right sides together. And I wanna extend the edge of that sleeve cuff about 5 8 inch beyond the placket leg. So I'll pin one side in place, go around to the other side, get that 5 8 inch extension, pin that in place to the placket leg. And then I'm going to evenly distribute the sleeve to the sleeve cuff and pin those in place. There's a pleat on the sleeve and there are notches marked on the pattern piece for where that pleat goes. I usually like to just pin everything in place evenly and then when I get to the sleeve pleat, I will fold that in place and pin it. The sleeve pleat will be on the front of the sleeve in relation to the placket location. And you want your sleeve pleat to point away from the placket opening on the interior of the sleeve and toward the placket opening on the exterior of the sleeve. Now that I've got that all pinned in place, I'm going to sew with a 5 8 inch seam allowance all the way around the sleeve opening, which I've done here. Next, I'll just trim my seam allowance down to about an eighth of an inch. Now I can press the sleeve cuff away from the sleeve. I'm going to use a seam roll to help make pressing a little bit easier. This is totally optional though. And I wanna make sure that my seam allowance is pressed toward the sleeve cuff all the way around. Once I have that pressed, I'm going to fold the sleeve cuff back on itself, right sides together, and make sure that I have just a hair of overlap at that folded edge there, because that's gonna overlap the seam where the sleeve cuff attached to the sleeve. And I'm gonna sew along there with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. I'm gonna do this on both sides of the sleeve cuff. And I'm taking my time to pin this in place just right. And again, I'll sew with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. I've done that here, which you can see, and it goes right along the edge of that sleeve placket. I'm gonna trim my seam allowance here and make sure I trim a little bit of the corner off so that I can reduce bulk. And then I'm gonna turn this right side out, making sure to poke out those corners really nice and neat. And I will press the edges and get everything nice and flat on both sides of the sleeve cuff where it meets the placket. And I'm tucking in all of my raw edges and folded corners and everything. And I wanna make sure I press this nice and flat to prepare it for top stitching. And as you can see, I've got that folded edge right over that seam where the cuff attaches to the sleeve. Now I'm gonna go around and pin the cuff in place. I'm pinning it from the exterior of the sleeve because I wanna top stitch this from the exterior. But I'm using my fingers to kind of locate that fold and make sure that it all overlaps. And now I can edge stitch along the entire cuff perimeter to finish it. I've done that here and you can see up close, I've got that stitching, I mean, within like a, a 16th of an inch. It's really close to the edge and I've caught the fold on the interior as well to conceal all of the raw edges. 
Now I just want to press that really nice and flat. And press the interior as well. And now I can add my buttons and buttonholes to complete the sleeve cuff. much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and that you're empowered to go out and make yourself a birdie button up with a tower placket. As I mentioned before, check out the description for all of the links for everything that I mentioned in this video. If you decide to make yourself a birdie button up and you'd like to share it with us on Instagram, be sure to use the hashtag PS birdie button up and tag me pattern scout so that I can see it. If there's anything that you want to know that wasn't answered in this tutorial, be sure to leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot when you subscribe and you'll be notified when I release new videos in the future. Okay, I think that is all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.